What's up guys? Please, as you are looking at this video right now, you are looking at me prepping my broccoli and chicken and cheese casserole. So of course I just actually um, got busy and I thought it would be robbery not to show you guys at least a quick video of something that you can do for meal prep. So I actually took my Nutribullet, put some broccoli in there and I cut it off the stem and then I added some 2% some shredded um, cheese on there and then that's how that looks so beautiful. I'm going to mix that into my brown rice. Actually, you see my brown jasmine rice here. And then, right now, I left the broccoli in. And I put some egg whites and a little bit more cheese for the topping. And you can see there. And I'm getting ready to put it into my pan that's um, olive oil mix. I'm going to put my jasmine rice first. And then I'm going to put the broccoli in. I'll stir that up together. And then I have my chicken that is grilled nicely I just put it in the air fryer so if you don't have an air fryer you need to get one but yeah that's my ingredients and I will be back to show you the finished um, product alright be back so now I have put my I layered my pan I did my brown jasmine rice I did the broccoli and cheddar um, mix up the dice broccoli and cheddar mix and then I also I just put, I actually cooked my chicken in the air fry and I literally took a spoon this exact spoon that's how amazingly tender it keeps your meat um, and I just chopped it up that's it I didn't even have to use a knife so what I actually did was I took some 2% um, heavy whipping cream I added just a little bit of sun-dried tomato Alfredo and I added um, 2% milk and I came up with almost a whole bottle of this because I'm only using a little bit of the um, sun-dried tomato mix. You can also use cream of mushroom. You can They have low sodium of that. So you see how I'm just drizzling that on the top? Look how amazing this looks. And you can still keep it healthier and guilt, guilt free if you do it this way when you use your healthier ingredients and I'm also gonna just take a little bit of my vegetable broth and just take a splash of it and dap it in there so that it won't be so dry when I put it in the oven and now I'm going to take my um, my egg white mix here and I'm gonna pour it in the top look at that it's not even ready yet my god today final touch I'm going to take my egg whites and my leftover broccoli and cheddar puree. I put more cheese in there, 2%, to give it a base. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes out, but it is oven ready. I'm going to put my oven on 300, 350, whatever you want, but I'm going to put mine on 300 because my oven cooks pretty fast. And put that in there and pop that in there for maybe about 25 to 30 minutes until it's brown to your liking. And voila, there you have it your chicken and broccoli um, casserole. All right, the healthier version of you is always better. Can you look at that? Look what the Lord has done. Hey, I told y'all, look at that. Ouch. Hit my arm trying to get in there. <laughs> dear God, dear Lord. Guys, we're all done here. I wish I could smell the aroma coming from this kitchen. Look how amazing that looks. Look at that. Look at that. All right, y'all. I got to go because I'm hungry. <laughs> nope. Okay. That right there is what the Lord said. There you have it, guys. The finishing touches of my chicken and broccoli casserole. I'm done. Alright guys, enjoy. You should try it. Let me know how it turns out. Bye guys.